Well, hello, Comic Time friends. How y'all doing? We are doing great. Can y'all hear what's going on here? Mama, tell them what, what you've been doing. And Flowers, flowers, flowers. Here's some beautiful flowers. Where over there's some behind Mama. Over there's some. Up here's some. There's some. Look at this little birdie. With a little flower. We've been busy. But now it's raining. That's wonderful. Look at let's look outside. See oh, there's some flowers. We bought last week. We finally got them in the pots. Look at that beautiful rain. We need to work on the well. The little man. It's gone. It's the birdhouse is blown over. Look at the beautiful. This is, I guess, the beginning of the summer. There's some of Mama's flowers. Is that cola stuff that Mama? Yeah. Now, they're not big and blooming now because they're going to be, but we'll take care of them and get them there. That's some Wondering Do, and over there is some more. <coughs> and there's flowers, and there's our herbs out there on that table getting some rain. It smells good out here, don't it, Mama? Sorry for the commotion. Don't put that on me. Mama, crazy. your hair's a little windblown. It's more than windblown. I've been standing on my head and everything else. Look how pretty. I'm enjoying the spring already. Been sitting on the back porch about every night, ain't we, Mama? Yeah. And now, sitting on the front porch. I've been out on the front porch a couple times this winter, but not for relaxation. Well, what was you doing out there? Well, this is where Maggie, this is her domain. So this is my seat while she runs her domain. Oh, coffee's good. She comes out and plays and runs and lets everybody know and all the birds and the crows, especially the crows, any big bird. Um, a hawk or anything comes anywhere near, she wants it to know that this is hers. She stood up here on the patio, and there's three or four big old crows out there in the yard, and she's just barking her head off, but she's getting off of the chase. She's scared. She's scared. scared of she's scared. She's all talking, no action. She's just barking, barking, and I was walking in the garage, and I heard her, and I came out, looked. They run from your barking. You bark at a mama? No, <laughs> Now, this is part of what's important about life. Taking those moments to sit and relax and absorb. Your your mind needs to hear the rain. It needs to feel the breeze. It needs to smell that beautiful rain. Every once in a while, it don't hurt a bit to just sit down, relax, and enjoy. You guys are just sitting in a rocking. Yep, Mama's rocking, Pam. Yeah. I'm not rocking. <laughs> this is Mama's favorite location. Yeah. She's like Maggie, though. She sits out there and, and surveys her domain. And if anything comes through she don't like, she lets it know. <laughs> <laughs> don't you, Mama? And it works out perfect because there's a ceiling fan right above me. And I, I get some breeze. She's over there and it's kind of away, away from the breeze. And she has her little and her little table and I have mine here and I have no one over here on the side to sit and drink coffee. We get a lot of of um, relaxation out here. This is our one of our go-to spots in it, Mom. Yeah. I read a long time ago 
create special places in your home that give you that vacation feel. You know, just the back porch, the front porch. Maybe you have an area in your garage or maybe you have a room that you've dedicated to reading and sewing and relaxation. Use that room for you. When you need a break from the world, go to that room. Um, sometimes, even in the winter, I'll come out here and sit just because I enjoy sitting out here on the porch. Uh, sometimes we'll end up on the back porch, don't we, Mama? Our back porch is enclosed because it's west facing. Now, I would love to have an old-fashioned, long outdoor porch that you could pop plants on. You could have, you know, screen wire, whatever. You wouldn't have it, anything long because our wind, storms, and everything comes directly west. So when that's going on, you better have a window you can close. But with windows all the way around the porch, we can um, open them when we want to open them and close them when we want to close them. We have ceiling fan out there, so it is a it's a we call it the sun porch because it is enclosed, and we do have furniture out there. But, uh, and a swing, but we can, um, we can keep it all nice and dry. And there's no bugs or snakes. That's a biggie. That's a biggie in the, in the south. You know, you'll have black snakes that crawl right up on the porch with you. One crawled up on mom's uh, front door here one day. Got in the reef. We don't keep a lot of wreaths since then. Not big old fluffy flowery ones. No, I think I'm <laughs> she's got <Wing> me. <laughs> she's got a basket of apples she's gonna put on there that my uncle made for summer. Flat wood. It's flat wood. Um I think we think what happened because it all happened so quickly, UPS came dropped a box on the porch. Mama came out right, she seen him pulling out, so she came out right after he was here, so either the snake had already made it to the door, or he scared it up in the door and didn't realize it. Mama says it was a copperhead. She believes it was a copperhead. I told her it could have been one of them anacondas or something. It was a It was a copperhead. <laughs> I don't think it was a copperhead. I believe it was a chicken snake. Because she sat there with her rear end holding the door open and bed Maggie a treat and everything the snake didn't bother. A copperhead would have got her. It was hanging on the door. But at the beginning it wasn't hanging between the door. So then he crawled up on top of the door and then when she shut the door to go in the door didn't shut. She realized something was wrong. Well, the snake was half in the door and half in the... So she calls me and she says, where are you at? And I said, I'm on my way home, which I had about 15 more minutes to go. And uh, she said, there's a snake in the door. I said, in the door. What do you mean in the door, Mama? She says, I mean in the front door. I have a little sense of the clothes. She closed the big main door, and it was between the. It was it was it was, it was, it was stuck in the screen door, storm door, and the main door, hanging a loop of its body hanging on the inside. So when I got home, and I did get here about twelve more minutes because I floored it to get home to Mama. I said, "Where's it at?" Well, she goes, "It's gone." I said, "Oh my mercy! You know what's worse than having a snake?" Is having one and then it get gone. You don't know where it went. So I had looked all over the porch. And we knew it wasn't in the house because she had seen it. I made sure. I said, "You did shut the door." She said, "I shut it and locked it." I said, "Was you afraid that snake was going to turn the knob and come on in?" She said, "It was doing all kinds of stuff. I didn't expect it to do. Lord, it could have opened the door about next." So we knew it didn't come in. We knew it was out somewhere, but it went between the door. It wasn't in the wreath anymore. Uh, it had gone on its way. It probably had just headed back I home. Probably it. 
It probably was back home telling its family about that crazy woman who caught it in the door and it just got killed it and everything how stupid to death it was. But I said, well, Mama, what kind was it? She said, it was a copperhead. <laughs> it was. I said, how big was it, Mama? She said, it was five or six feet. <laughs> it was uh, brown. Spots on spots. And how long was it, Mama? I don't know. It had a foot or two off on each side. In case you don't know, that's a pretty long copperhead. But it would be about the right size for a chicken snake, and it'd be about the right color. Brown with spots. I got chickens. Mama says, we ain't got no chickens. I said, well, they don't know that. It came here to see. It came by here, and it looked at our house, and it said, I bet them people's got chickens. You reckon? We've never had a copperhead here. Knock on wood. We've had black snakes. We've had chicken snakes. We've never killed or had anything poisonous here. Not that there wouldn't be. Just like bears. We've had bears come through here, I'm sure, because they're everywhere. But, uh, you know. I don't get out late at night unless I need to come out and check on something. So that's usually when they're pilfering around. We don't keep garbage out. Uh, we keep garbage inside the garage in a can, and then we take it out of the can and we haul it to the recycling place. Or as we call it, the dump. Go up to the dump. Anyway, so we've not had any of that things, thank the Lord. But we did have coyotes. Yeah, Maggie finds them. You know, to this day, she will come in here at night and she looks over toward where she got attacked and she'll take off over. I'm like, what are you doing, girl? We don't go over there no more. We don't. I see some pretty red fox right down there. We have fox that play down here. I think there's a den of them down here and they play in, in a little grassy spot down here and I'll show y'all down there. They love to get down in there in that little grassy knoll just around that, that the road there. And they'll play right in there. And then they run off into those woods to try to find supper, I guess. But look how pretty the green grass and the trees. Look how the trees are all filled in. We're all leafed out. That's our maple. Had them beautiful pink or what color is the maple leaves? My burgundy, little burgundy leaves when they're first coming on. But. Then in the file, they're all, they're yellow. Mama, the well looks awful. It's got a, it's got a birdhouse down. That birdhouse is a little man face. See that nose? It's falling it's over in the wind. wind My uncle made that. Now, even though these flowers here are pretty, and these flowers here are pretty, let me draw your attention to something beautiful. Look at Mama's bench. <laughs> that. No, look at the bench. Those little, every one of them little containers has got the most beautiful, wonderful tomatoes. Look at them. You can barely see them. This one right here. On the end. Look at that. You see them? Those are... And a lot of those, you all have seen this. Um, that says... I can see right there. Brown berry. What's that? Brown berry beef steak. Some of these ones you all sent us. And some of them are some that were... I um, those romas, Mama started some of those seeds. That was those little cherry tomatoes in that first pop of the house that we had, and we claimed a few to see if they were. And the next one was a roma tomato we planted. I got roma tomatoes on those others, see if they'll come up. Yep. 
the um, tomatoes. I'm going to plant some pots of tomatoes out here because I want to be able to have tomatoes. Just walk by, grab a tomato. Wouldn't that be nice? Just to walk around and pick your tomato and eat it. So we got several in the back brace bed. Mommy got in the big bed down at the barn. I got, I got three rows of beans, potatoes, carrots, and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Summer squash, ten tomato plants, and six pepper plants down there. Then up here at the house on the back patio, you got. Say that again. I think about 60 to 70 tomato plants. 60 to 70 tomato plants. No, 10 of them stand down there, so it's about 80 tomato plants. How many tomato plants you got right here on the stand? What I started telling y'all a while ago, ever since we had the snake on the porch, three years ago, yeah. three years ago, every year we plant mint on the porch. We have pots of mint. And right over there is some. It smells good. And right here's some. And here's some on this. So they claim that mint keeps them away. Well, Mama insists every year that we get mint. That's Mama. So we keep pots of mint on the porch. And if for no other reason, it just smells wonderful. Peppermint. So this is, and you can put it in your tea. You can put your, you can come out and get a little pinch of it. Put the peppermint in your tea. You can make it peppermint that tea by itself. It's a mint. That it's back to the mat. It's spearmint. Or what it really is, yeah. what we call it, is branch mint. It yeah. grows naturally, naturally. And that it's in the back. We don't plant it. It just comes up every year by itself because we planted some of it. Yeah, I mean, but we don't plant it year after year. It just, it just regrows. It just shows back up every year. And it's in Mama's raised beds back there, so hopefully it'll keep snakes, mice, and all that out of back there. Mama says, ain't nothing to keep the snakes away. <laughs> Mama says, ain't nothing down there. Um, we're going to show you the back later but right now it's just uh, too wet i want to show you her cattle trials that she got for mother's day all your mother's day presents have worked out nice yeah. you're off her i got her well actually i got her mm, five hydrangeas and uh, two of them are smooth leaf and they're supposed to be snow white and they're just little stems, but they're doing good. One of them is a big pink one in a pot, and it's out there, and it's doing real good. Two of them are purple and blue mix, and they're right here on the porch, and they're doing good. They look really good. Let me see if I can zoom in on one of them for you. Right there. So there's one, and there's two. Do you see that little rose right there that looks dead? It's because it is dead. That's a row, uh, knockout rose tree. Now that rose came out in February yeah. and March. And we got a real hard freeze one night. And all the, of course I expected it, but all the fresh foliage died on it. Well now it's dead. It will not come back. So do any of y'all know, should I expect it to come back? Is that a little Lazarus bush? Or should I pay my last respects to it and let it go on its journey? Because it's not showing any sign of recuperating. It's not showing any sign that it's going to be okay. There's Mama's dinner bell. That really is a triangle for dinner bell. 
And I do use it sometimes. I use it more than Mama does. Um, when I come home, if I can't find her. <laughs> if I ring that triangle, she knows to call me and let me know where she is on the farm. Because sometimes she's hard to find. That pot right there is not my granny's pot. Is it, Mama? Where did it come from? No, that's not it. That's when we bought somewhere. The one on the, the one on the upper end is uh, bigger than that one and more spread out. Uh, we'll show it to you sometime. Speak life to that rose tree. Life in Jesus' name, Cindy. I done said that to once today. Did I, Mama? Yeah. <laughs> it's strange that you should say that because Mama went out there with her big old clippers. And she said, I'm going to trim this dead off, but I don't think it's going to come out. I said, Mama, don't say that. I said, you speak life over it. And you tell it. Come on out of there, Rose. I'm ready for you to come out. And I said, and maybe it will. I said, maybe it's just doing what we expect it to do. So we've already said a little, come on, Rose. You got this. Let's do it. So we're going to give it a week. And in a week, it should show signs of green if it's going to come back. Because once you cut them, that's when it says, hey, they cut around on me. They're wanting me to grow, and they'll start. Um, it puts them in a shock. It puts them in a... Dormant. No, it don't put them in dormant. It puts them in a... Um, they'll, they'll produce quickly if you cut them back. That's the reason you prune things, to let it know you need to grow some. That's the reason you deadhead flowers. Uh, it lets them know... Mm, those aren't blooms. Those must not have looked pretty because they want me to put some more out. So that helps. All right, folks. We're just going to sit here on the porch for a spell and enjoy this rain. It's kind of quit raining now, but it's going to be raining all afternoon. And uh, we've had graduation here this weekend. And a lot of people have got little activities planned today. I hope they get to have them. That graduation was nice last night. They had on the football field. The weather held out. It was really nice. Um... Mama's little great nephew, uh, little, he's not little anymore. Uh, he graduated last night. Our friend's son graduated last night. We had several family uh, friends that, that graduated. Yeah. These babies are growing up, Mama. I know. Son graduated. I didn't think it was old enough to do it, but I guess. <laughs> Mama says, that can't be old enough to graduate. I said, Mama. Yeah. 17 years goes by quickly. I uh, love y'all, Zard. Lots of hard, beautiful Tony. Do you who live there with Mama love y'all together? Dolores, I do stay here most always. Now, I do have a house, but, uh, and as I've often said, Mama is nowhere near needing a caregiver. She's probably healthier than I am. She runs around the doctor's house. But she has sugar, low sugar attacks in the middle of the night. She gets up. And when she gets up, she gets real dizzy. And if she tries to get something to drink or eat, sometimes she has to holler at me, don't you want? Yep. So I can't leave her alone at night. Can't hardly leave her alone during the day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she she wakes up and she's done this. I think she's done it her whole life because I remember one time I woke up. Now this is a story from years ago uh, when we first moved in where my granny and papa lived, which is this part of the house on this end. My bedroom. We only had one bathroom, and you had to come through my bedroom to get to that bathroom. And I woke up one morning, it was, wasn't was daylight, and Mama was laid crossways in my bed. What did your mom? You remember this story? She was laid at the... Was a and it oh, it's here. I'm going to go feed it right now. We just had a hummingbird story. Anyhow, she had passed out. She had made it to my bed and passed out. And this is when I was probably six. How old was I? In that story, you don't remember. We moved in so, was it then when you passed out? Mm -hmm. 
She, she's avoiding the conversation. This is her avoidance. Mama, show them how you avoid stuff. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, that's what happens when you get to step getting out of the rain. Mama's our, well, she's a family member. She's a, just a cousin. She brought her eggs. We, we get eggs uh, from, we get eggs from two or three folks around here because it's good country eggs, but she brings us eggs every week, and we pay her. You know, you just, they have to buy chicken feed and stuff, and people, they sell eggs to help feed your chickens, and that's a good thing. Anyhow, she brought eggs, and they were up in the driveway, and it was raining. Sprinkling. And I hollered, and I said, girls, people's gonna get a room around, she just ain't got sense of getting out the bank. So then they both stood in the rain a little bit longer and told me the stories that when they was kids they used to walk in the rain and splash mud holes and play in the rain, how much fun they had in the rain. And I said, well, you guys ain't kids no more, you guys are both in your 70s. So you're older than you. Well, you guys both are old enough to get out of the rain, Mama. Now you're complaining about your hair being wet. Now you're complaining about your hair being wet. You ain't got a curl in it yet. You don't have to get a curl. She's going to take a full-blown shower, she said. Curl that hair. I don't curl it. You don't curl it? No. Well, what, there's a curl right in the front of it. Who stuck that there? Well, curl. <laughs> <laughs> it's straight. Mama, there's a big floopy right there. Well, it's a big curl, ain't it? No, it ain't a curl. I ain't got no curls. That's crazy. What do I know? Looks like a curl to me. Two younger than me and some older than me's got curls. I ain't getting them. Sammy's was curled. PJ says it's okay with no curls. My allergies are out, out of control. Doreen, mine was, uh, but they've not mowed here. The neighbors haven't mowed yesterday or the day before. And this rain has really helped me. I mean, just a little bit of, I think it has. Um, for some reason, my allergies aren't bothering me too bad. But now they've not cut hay. And they've not. Once the trees finally got in full foliage, mine really calmed down. So I like to think a lot of mine is tree pollen. Ain't sure. Why am I poking around the corner? Because I'm holding this thing with one hand. I'm having to prop it up. So my arm won't get tired sticking straight out like this. I don't want to be on camera. She's shy. I'm dirty. Well, you've been in the garden all morning in the yard. You've been walking around here with dirt. Wires. I've been in the same mess you have. You don't do it. No, I don't. I don't get it all over me. I use a shovel. I've got some dirt, but I use a shovel. I, I use my hands. Mama loves to get in it. She, I said, Mama, don't put your hand. I can I said, I've got this shovel. No, she puts it where she wants it. Me, I'm just, I can paint. I could paint in this shirt. Get them on. Yeah, I can. I'm basic hard. I'm not too messy when I work. I'm in Ohio from grandson graduation. Ah, oh, Donna, is it unbelievable? Hey, Cindy. Hello from Wichita, Kansas. Thank you, PJ. We do love where we live. Freezing up. Jellico is going to be 140 years old. Did you see that, Mama? 140. Raining in Savannah, Tennessee, too. Janice is going to rain here the rest of the day, I believe. Set storms for five Yeah, we're supposed to get storms. Morning, John and Mama from Oregon. Beautiful day here. Uh, Virginia, I hope y'all keep a beautiful day. Hey, Brenda. I'm from Florida. I know you're pretty down there, Brenda, because this 
probably just a beautiful day in Florida. Barbara Gale is watchable. Hello, Barbara Gale. The bird sounds are beautiful. PJ, I hate to say it, but I think I get used to them. And like when I do a video outside, I I hear them on there and I think, oh, what a pretty bird. But when you're out here all the time, you know, I hear them when I first come out of the morning, I'll sit here and enjoy the birds. But then when you're out here talking, so you kind of forget to listen at the moment. They are pretty. And it, when it rains, not they're pretty. But I think I, that's one thing I need to do is slow down and listen to them a little bit more, enjoy a little bit more of the pretty trees. And see, here comes some more rain. Mama, you want to sing or anything? Well, you should take a shower before you turn this camera on. That's what I said. She looks beautiful. Look at her. Yeah. <laughs> she does. There's nothing wrong. Um, I just want to show you these flowers right quick. And it was raining, and we were just sitting here enjoying it. And I thought, what a wonderful time to share with our friends. What a wonderful day it is. It's not sunshiny. No. It's not warm weather. It's it's rainy, but it's a good day. It's the perception. It's the perception. You can perceive it to be pretty, and it will be pretty. Uh, love the rain. Now, if I had, you know, two or three days in a row, I'd be going, where's that sunshine? But a good rainy day don't hurt a thing. And it's, it's nice to have a good peaceful rainy day to cleanse the air and get all the ions fired up. Mama's going to sleep. <laughs> Are you asleep, Mama? No. I'm just <laughs> Rain on the way here, Sherry. If it's like ours so far, you'll like it. But now, when it gets all agitated later on, we may not like it so good because we're supposed to get some rumbles and some tumbles and probably some electric. We may not be able to come back tonight, folks. If it storms, we don't even try it in a storm very often because you all see what kind of internet we have and uh, storms don't make it any better at all. All right then, Mama. Do you want to hold on here any longer? Anything you want to add? I wish I was going to <laughs> Mama, you look fine. If you wouldn't tell them, they wouldn't even know it. Oh, like, oh yeah, they know it. You think your hair is all over your head? Yeah. That's what Mama says. Do y'all have anybody that says that? Mama said, Lord, my hair is all over my head. And I said, well, just exactly where would you like it, Mama? That makes her matter. For some reason, when I ask her that, it don't help. It makes her, you know what I mean. What does it mean when you say that, Mama? It means it's all messed up. All over my head. Yeah. So you want it all over your head, you just want it fixed up all over your head. <laughs> well, Mama, your flyers shorty look pretty and then brighten the porch up and. We've already got a bird nest up here in this one plant. We just had up here not even a week. Well, a week. And three baby eggs up there, so we may have babies. Sometimes they don't make it in our pots because, like, when you water them, if you disturb them, or if she just says, I'm through with this mess, she'll leave them sometimes. And I don't know if it's the same bird or not, but we have one in that pot over there most every year on this end. I don't know why. Hardly ever do we get one on this end, and they're just oh, five feet apart. But they're five feet apart, you'd think. But this one up here, she builds a nest in there about every year. No matter what kind of flowers you put up? No, ferns, these, those, whatever. But uh, she has raised babies in there before, and she I have found eggs there in the fall before, uh, where she just abandoned them. Or... Maybe it's different birds. I don't know. But anyway. Alright folks, we're going to go. And we're going to say have a great day. 
Hope your weather's nice where you're at and hope you have a great day. And if, Lord willing, we may see you again tonight, we may cook something. But if it's stormy and bad weather, we may not because I hate to get halfway in and can't do it. But I told you I'd show you the flowers and I want to keep my word. I want to show you one more thing. I want to show you this. Do y'all see this right here? This light green, that is called a sweet potato plant. Now, those are totally ornamental there. But if you put a real sweet potato, Mama, you gonna do that for us? She might put a sweet, real sweet potato. That was an old house thing that we used to do. A lot of people used to do. Uh, you put a sweet potato in there and you, in water, in a quart jar, and you let it grow. And it will grow a beautiful plant, very similar to that. Now this one won't yield any sweet potatoes, but it's just a light green vine. And I guess it's in a sweet potato family. But that, you see them in cities, you see them in city pots a lot of times. Uh, they got them in our pots downtown. Um, they're just very ornamental, they're very pretty. These pots out here on the corner have got them in them. But we're gonna do a real one and let you see it. But now, Old Wives Tale says you can't let it touch the ground in your house, or it's bad luck. Does that grow quick, don't they, Mama? So, if you do start you one, don't let it touch the ground. Like if you put it on top of your refrigerator, or you get in your windowsill and it crawls down, don't let that touch the ground. I mean, I don't believe in luck per se, but if you got a pair of scissors, I'll take a chance. <laughs> it's the truth, Mama. Mama's laughing at me, but, you know, who knows? Yeah, we have a wishing well. My uncle built that, and it's not a well. There's no real well that's just put there. We got two wells. We got two wells in the back without a cover over them. They're filled in though. I like to have another real well. Ours, it tasted bad, didn't it, Mama? It tasted perfect my whole life. And then we had some blast in the area, and then it, and then it, it tasted like rotten eggs or something. Got a new water vein? Yeah, it broke the casing and different water coming into it. So we had to get out of the city. So that's just going to have filters on our taps. All right, folks. Mama, you going to keep them all day or you going to let them go? Y'all have a wonderful evening. Goodbye, Mama. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a blessed day. See you. Thanks for being here.